Spaces, it, with my understanding, it was kind of a way of people um, sharing kind of their voices through photography, um, kind of their experiences um, abroad or just here um, in Georgia. Um, or at home or things like that um, and they've taken pictures it's a way of sharing it with the students so they can kind of share where they've been or um, what they've been doing while at school. I was abroad at the time um, I studied in Belgium last spring uh, and so while I was there I was able to travel um, a lot while you know throughout the weekends um, and that particular, or my particular photo that I chose um, to submit was while I was visiting Paris. Um, and it was at the Soccer Corps, which is a church cathedral. Um, and it was, it's kind of up on a hill, it's this big white um, church. And as you're walking up the hill, they always have a whole bunch of street performers. And so um, my friend and I were actually just kind of hanging out one afternoon and we were sitting up on the hill and they had um, a ton of musicians and then this particular um, soccer player. And I, you know, as much as I played soccer as a child and it was, you know, I had kind of seen, um, we started watching him and he was like up on this ledge and he started climbing this like street pole while still juggling the soccer ball. So it was just, I ended up taking like several pictures and that one I think um, I chose to submit that particular one just because it kind of showed pa like Paris's landscape as well as kind of the soccer player. It's My photograph is a photograph of a garden of foxes, of cement statue foxes that I experienced in Japan when I went to visit my son who was teaching English there. And we went to a shrine and a temple that uh, is ostensibly protected by these foxes. And um, it's certainly something that you never see here in the United States. So we were going down the path in this temple and seeing the prayer flags and all. And you round this corner and you come upon this garden of statues of foxes and all of them have little red bibs around their necks and there are thousands of them and um, they're all facing the same direction they're all facing northeast and from what I understand the reason they're all facing northeast is because that's where evil comes and so the foxes are facing toward evil to kind of hold it at bay um, it's actually, I went to Hungary last year. Um, I actually went to Norway before that. I joined a program called Jesus Revolution, um, and where we were a missionary, a traveling missionary for a year. Um, and one of our spots that we went to was uh, Budapest, Hungary. Um, and so we, one day in the city, we, we uh, went sightseeing because Budapest is like an amazing place to see all of the architecture and uh, the buildings and things like that. And while we were walking, I got a glimpse of the castle, and it was just, it was incredibly beautiful to me. It would look exactly like our um, Disney movie castles um, with the shading and everything, so that's, it was, it was a once in a lifetime type picture to me. I think for a lot of people, we don't have, especially Americans, we don't have the ability to travel um, Broad. It's really expensive um, and other things, but most of us want to go abroad and want to tour Europe and other places. So I think for this uh, photo voices, it was it was kind of a glimpse to the place in a place uh, the places that we uh, we so often want to go to. Like there are pictures from France. There are pictures from. Uh, Britain, there were pictures from China, um, you know, it was kind of like it took you there even though you weren't able to go. Okay, hey, this is the 11th annual Photo Voices Impressions of a New Culture. It's a photo exhibit where students, staff, and faculty show their impressions of other cultures.